Hi guys, Arthur D again. So on this test, we pick up exactly on the on the same setup we had on the previous um, video, where I was tapping the the computer sends and also the the computer return voltage. Okay, the difference between this test and the last one is that uh, in the last one I was using the um, I was in VCA mode. Okay, so I, I was going through the VCA card. Now I'm I'm in motor zone mode, which is the ultimation mode, which moves the motor. What we have here, you can see, this is exactly the the, the same thing. So if I if I bring the fader down, you see that I have a, a um, five volt voltage. And if I have the fader up, you, you have a, a zero volts, okay? And you see, if I move quickly, you see the, the, the red signal, which is the computer return, lagging behind because it's just uh, the, the computer lag. He basically is calculating, he's reading the fader um, send level, he's uh, uh, adjusting the return level. To, the, to basically to match so it takes time and this is the lag okay what we are doing now so in the in this situation I am just moving the fader and you see that the computer is returning the exact same voltage okay but and you remember on the last video I had uh, this fader slaved to group number eight if I start moving fader number 8, things will be a bit different. So, if I move the fader, this fader starts to moving. And you see that the voltage of the blue line, which is the fader level, is keeping up with the, with the, the red one which is the computer return uh, you may be asking hey but wasn't it the the other way around no in this situation what happens is that the computer is reading the group 8 level okay and it's doing its internal calculations to move this fader to compensate for the Group either move a uh, group eight movement, okay. Uh, how it does that is basically um, sends a return voltage. This return voltage goes to the motor control, the motor control moves the fader, and then the fader affects the audio that's passing through. So if I move the group this fader is adjusting because the the computer is sending the voltage to the motor and sending look you 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 move the fader to the the place i need so you get the the the, the level uh which the group is uh, is telling me okay and that's why the 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 fader voltage now it's it's uh, slaved to the computer voltage and you can see it here okay and uh, this is very different from the the VCA mode because on the VCA mode you you would see the the blue line which is the fader level in one position and uh, the red line which was the <coughs> the VCA level on a totally different position okay so the the levels were decoupled so the, the fader was uh, sending a level to the computer, the computer was returning to the VCA, uh, the level adjusted by the group, and this level is then going to the VCA card, which affects the audio. In this situation, in this scenario we have here, the, the level returned by the computer is not going to the VCA card, but rather to the back to the fader, and feeds the motor 
and the motor moves to push the fader to, to the right spot. Okay. And the SSL Ultimation Extender allows you to check if everything is okay, which in this situation it is. Okay. See you next video. Cheers.